Welcome to our presentation, Did Oswald Have a Chance to Kill the President? A Project Risk Analysis Perspective. This presentation is a part of videos on project risk management and risk analysis produced by Intiver Institute. Intiver Institute is a vendor of project risk analysis and risk management software, Risky Project. On November 22, 1963, President John F. Kennedy was fatally shot by a sniper in Dallas, Texas. An investigation by the Warren Commission concluded that Kennedy was assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald acting alone. However, many believe that Kennedy was killed as a result of a conspiracy. Using project risk analysis, we decided to assess whether Oswald would have had a realistic chance of assassinating the president on his own. Before we begin, a small disclaimer. We do not claim to possess exact information, especially with regards to the probabilities and impacts of certain risks, and therefore we cannot give a definite answer from the historical point of view. This example is only intended to illustrate project risk analysis methodology. What we are pursuing is called forensic risk analysis. In most cases, Project risk analysis is performed prior to the start of a project or during execution to generate probabilities of meeting project objectives. In this case, we are endeavoring to determine what is the chance that Oswald could complete his project, the assassination of the president, as it actually occurred. Oswald was probably on the sixth floor of the Texas School D Book Depository at 12.10. 20 minutes before the first shot was fired. Oswald fired three rifle shots from the sixth floor window of the book depository at 12.30. Immediately after the shooting, Oswald went downstairs and at 12.40 boarded a city bus and got off to two blocks later. He then hailed a taxi and arrived at his rooming house at 1 p.m. At 1.15, Dallas Patrolman J.D. Tippett was shot by Oswald approximately 1.4 kilometers from Oswald's rooming house. Oswald was arrested at the Texas Theater after 1.40. The project schedule is one of the inputs of project risk analysis. The second one is a risk register. In general, the risk may affect project scope, duration, cost, safety, security, quality, etc. But in this case, we will analyze how risks would affect the duration of the assassination plan. For example, an important duration risk would be that Oswald would be discovered before the attempt. When Oswald was taking a, ta a bus, a taxi, or walking, it could take longer. Such risks as rifle misfires, the president's motorcade changes planned course, or missed shot are not included as they do not directly affect the duration. After we identified risks, we need to assign them to tasks and resources. At this moment, we would enter probabilities and impact of risks. For example, the risk Oswald discovered early can cause cancellation of the task and all its successors. The risk bus does not come on time can cause an increase of task duration. The next step is to perform Monte Carlo simulation. Here is a risk register with calculated risk probability, impact, and score. Calculated risk probability and impact may be different than the risk impact we enter when we assigned risk to individual tasks, as one risk may be assigned to multiple tasks or resources. From our analysis, the most important risk, the one with the highest score, is Oswald discovered during escape. If this was a normal project, this risk would have the highest priority when performing mitigation and risk response planning. However, it does not look like Oswald put a lot of effort into mitigating his risk. Here is a frequency chart for project duration. Because Oswald could be discovered earlier, the project can be cancelled and duration can be less than 1 hour 30 minutes. The analysis shows that the chance this project can be completed 
within one hour thirty minutes, plus or minus five minutes, is thirty three percent. The statistical distribution of project duration is quite wide. This indicates that the project was very risky and could mean that either Oswald was either very lucky or had outside help. Quantitative risk analysis and particularly event chain methodology is a very powerful tool and can be beneficial to any project of any size from large programs running for many years to small projects which take just a few weeks. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions, contact Intiver Institute.